Former FBI Director James Comey was out on the town in Washington Saturday. He showed up at the matinee of the musical Fun Home. Now Justice reporter Paula Reed has more on the candidates in the running to replace Mr. Comey. Of the Attorney Alice Fisher was the first to arrive at the Justice Department Saturday morning to interview for the job of FBI director. One by one, seven other candidates were paraded in full view of cameras before heading into interview with Attorney General Jeff Sessions and his deputy Rod Rosenstein. While the interviews were underway, President Trump took a moment aboard Air Force One to praise the people his administration is considering to replace James Comey. These are outstanding people that are very well known, highest level. But most of the names are not well known outside the Beltway. Adam Lee runs the FBI's Richmond field office. CBS News contributor Fran Townsend was a national security advisor to President George W. Bush. Senator John Cornyn and former Representative Mike Rogers also interviewed. On Face the Nation, the Representative Adam Schiff said he would like to see someone FBI. apolitical. Uh, absolute uh, integrity and independence. And for this reason, uh, I would strongly urge the administration to pick someone who is completely apolitical, uh, who doesn't come out of the political process, uh, someone who is a retired judge or an acting judge willing to step down from their judgeship. Two judges were interviewed Saturday. New York State Judge Michael Garcia is a former federal prosecutor with extensive experience in immigration enforcement, a top priority for the administration. Federal Judge Henry E. Hudson was the first judge to rule against Obamacare. Acting Director Andrew McCabe is being considered, but is unlikely to remain in the top job. In addition to contradicting the administration during his congressional testimony last week, he's also under internal investigation over whether he should have recused himself in the Clinton investigation. McCabe's wife previously ran for office and accepted money from a Clinton-linked donor. Democrats question whether Attorney General Sessions, who recused himself in the Russia investigation, should have such a big role in firing and hiring the person who leads it. But he will make a recommendation to the president, who will then send his nominee to the Senate. That could happen as soon as this week. Elaine? Paula, thanks.